So we get the van in the garage today. And it's not for a fun reason. It's for a fuel pump. Um, so that we think that might be the issue with why my van has been having some troubles. And uh, that's what we're going to be doing here today. Well, there's a big filter on that. 
conspiracy. Yeah. Yeah, this is all metal from there. The plastic. Just try to tuck this little gasket in there. still be sticking out. with my girlfriend Olivia it's New Year's Eve everybody we did it another year in the books and uh, today we're sitting in Wolfboro and we just picked up steak and cheese subs from well we're looking at a hairdresser but trust me around the corner from the hairdresser is Huck's Hoagies give them a little shout out the van is running strong right now at the moment fingers crossed just fix it today um, but yeah, so me and my dad fixed it this morning. We changed the fuel pump in the fuel tank, and that was a whole process. Let me show you my setup here. I've got my little TV tray here attached to my steering wheel, and this uh, flips down on the center console, which Liv is uh, partially using as her table over there. And um, how would you rate this as far as eating in a vehicle, Liv? How does it compare to eating in a regular vehicle? Well... I'd say it's about the same for me because I don't have a table. About the same? Yeah. It's about it's about the same, and um, that wasn't the answer I was hoping for, but it's okay. It's about the same as a regular vehicle, I guess. Don't buy a van. Just have a regular car. I it's know, about buy the a house. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to eat my sub, guys, because I'm starving. All right, well, that's the end of the video here. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hopefully it was somewhat helpful to you if you ever encounter this issue and you have to replace a fuel pump in your Dodge van. But anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you next time.